Becky from Bronx Bobbles bringing you another exciting video. This video is part of my Bronx Bobble Box Collection series. And this deals with you guys taking a sneak peek into my jewelry box. And today, I want to bring you into my ring box collection. And I threw in a little bit of a twist. This is not just my ordinary costume jewelry rings. This is on my unique and specialty ring collection. That's right, I pulled out a few very special rings that have unique little things about them that I wanna share with you guys. So, without further ado, come take a sneak peek at my bobble box and check out my unique vintage costume jewelry ring collection. The first ring I want to show you is one that I recently purchased perhaps about a month ago and I bought it at a thrift store. So this is not just a watch. Even though I just love, love, love it. I have several watch rings in my collection. This is a special watch ring because it is a Scaparelli watch ring. Isn't that fabulous? And I bought it at the thrift store for $7.99. Can you believe it? Check this ring out by Legendary and no other than Miss Scaparelli herself. Another fabulous ring that I purchased a good 20 years ago and I was born and raised a Catholic and I believe that everyone should have the right to practice whatever religion they choose although I'm not a full practicing Catholic I still sometimes have a little bit of that Catholic girl in me just never will go away but anyway this ring has the Our Father prayer etched right into the ring but it's not just an ordinary Our Father. This Our Father is in Italian. collection for about 15 years I think I only wore it once or twice but what I like about this ring is that it's two rings in one and it's a spinning ring and it's done in rose gold this ring says je t'aime in one side and then on the other side it has just a little bit of a, a pearly enamel and so you can wear it like this or you can wear it like this and I love the idea that you get two rings out of one. I just love, love, love things that are recycled and repurposed. And so this is one of my rings that is in my Broken China collection. And this one has the old country rose pattern on it, which happened to be my wedding set. At that time, I was heavily into Victoriana when I was married. Um, and this one has the rosebud. And for my daughter, her middle name happens to be Rose. So this is a very unique ring because you can take your mother's or your great-grandmother's or your great-great-grandmother's or father's or whomever uh, pottery or anything special that may have broken and you can make repurposed jewelry out of it. So that's what this is made of. Broken China. Here's a 
another ring. I think I purchased this when I worked in the city, which I haven't worked since the 90s, so it's quite old. So it's about 30 years old. And what I love about this ring, and still do, is that this is also a dual ring. You can wear it like this with the black, or you can wear it like this with the rose heart, or you can flip it like this. And um, I've had this ring for such a long time, and I haven't worn it in quite some time, and I should definitely wear it again because it is a fabulous piece. And unlike the other one, which you have to take off to get to the other side, this one you just flip it like that. Very unique, isn't it? I think I purchased about 30 years ago. Um, these were the craze in the 80s. Um, and I've seen girls wear this in gold and in sterling. And this is a, a fidget ring where, or spinner ring. You can call it fidget or spinner. And what I like about this is that it has that modernist element to it, almost sculptural in nature. It almost has like a mobile effect, but in your fingers. And I just love, love, love this ring. So this is a great ring to wear when you have small children, you wanna keep them a little busy, or if you're in the doctor's office and you're a little bit nervous, you can just spin this and fidget with it. And so that's why they call it a fidget ring or a spinner because it spins all the way around. But isn't it a really cool idea? Now I purchased this polar bear ring in the Hamptons and I just love, love, love this guy. It's on a uh, obsidian band, but the ring itself is this polar bear grasping on to black ice. And so I just thought it was such a cool, unique ring. I've never seen anyone like it before and it's figural in nature and sculptural and it's unique and his little critters. Um, and this is a, not really a little critter. Um, this is a big critter made into a little critter. And I just love it. I think it's so sincere, it's so beautiful. And it sort of reminds me of um, the climate change that's happening that's affecting these bears. And it's really, truly a sad story. And so this ring sort of reminds me to um, be thoughtful when it comes to uh, how I uh, conduct my life. I've shown pieces like this in other videos that I have, including the repurposed and um, video that I happen to love very, very much. This is a spoon that they mashed up and made flat and then has like this circular idea. And really and truly, unless you take a really good look at it, you wouldn't know that it's actually a silver spoon. And I think the design, even if it wasn't a spoon, is beautiful. I love the sleekness. I love the modernity. I love that it is um, just a nice hunk of metal and it has some substantial weight to it. Um, but to know that it was actually made by a spoon, I just love it. I think it's great. Now 
Now perhaps this is one of my all time favorite gold rings. I did a short video on this. I gotta re resurrect that video um, because it's, I just love it. And the reason why they call it uranium is because it glows in the dark. I actually have several uranium rings and I should probably do another video on it. It's truly, truly a very unique piece. And uranium, the amount of uranium that's in this ring will not do anything to you. It won't harm you, it won't hurt you, as long as you don't swallow it. And I don't think I'll be swallowing a hunk of glass like this anytime soon. bought this maybe three or four months ago and I don't know if you can see it but it's, it's a digital ring and this ring has these little pinging lights and I've always wondered about this ring what the purpose of it was or does it have any sort of significance I don't know if you can see it well but it these little little tiny little uh, little like lights almost like lights from the sky and um, I just thought it was unique and so I brought it to you. If anybody knows anything about this ring, let me know. I always love those little critters. And this critter is really, really special because it flutters. And this is called a tr um, tremblant. And I've had brooches that have this. I've even had um, hair pieces. And this is the first time I've ever seen a vintage custom uh, jewelry piece like this on a ring. Now this is pretty flimsy made, but it still has that amazing effect. Isn't that cool? Looks like it's flying and fluttering on your fingers. And I just love it. is a very very special piece this I believe is in an antique I think it's maybe from the 1900s it's made into a ring and the ladies would wear this this is a blue cobalt glass perfume sniffer I believe this is Parisian made in France and I bought this in France when I took a trip over there and just look at that, isn't that gorgeous? It has these beautiful gold and silver design on it. It's cut in, with glass and you can tell it's quite old. Um, and I believe maybe a lady would have worn this on a chatelaine or in, as a ring and she would probably wear it in her hands. And back then the streets would smell so bad that uh, they would take these things and dabble a little bit of perfume on them and this piece still has this little dab dabber which makes it even more special because a lot of times those are the pieces that get lost I just love this piece so very much and it is quite old ring um, and when I purchased this ring I didn't know anything about it but if you can feel how heavy I think this whole entire ring is made with pure silver 
not hollow at all. Um, and someone told me that this is actually a buffalo tooth and it's made by the Native American Indians. And so I don't know enough about this to speak on it further than that. Um, I just think that it's fabulous. Um, when I bought it, I didn't know what I was buying, but there was some spirituality about the piece and I just wanted to have it and the size and the weight of it. Um, but to find out later on that it's Native American makes this a very, very special piece indeed. I bought maybe five years ago and it has I think Arabic words on here um, maybe one of you can tell me what it says it's made with a carnelian stone and my understanding is that this is made as a wax seal so it would be a man, man would wear it and they would uh, write their letters and then put this on the letter with wax steels and stamp it out like that. And I love that it has a different language on it. I don't know what it says, so maybe one of you can help me decipher what it says. And I just think it's so beautiful. I love carnelian, I love gold, I love things with meaning and history, and this certainly has all those boxes checked. in my unique ring collection is this ring right here. Now, when I purchased this ring, I thought it was an acrostic ring. An acrostic ring is a ring that has hidden messages and meanings through the gemstones. And there's a language all into gemstones. So um, a lot of times it would be L for lapis, O for opal, V for vermilion, uh, and E for emerald. And um, it would spell out, the gemstones would spell out L-O-V-E, or love. Uh, a very popular one would be regards, red for rubies, E for emeralds, and so forth, and G for garnet, and so on and so forth, and dearest. So when I bought this, I thought maybe I found my first acrostic ring. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to decipher what this ring says. So I'm asking for your help and letting me know if you can decipher and encrypt what this ring means. Or perhaps it's just a mother's ring. A mother's ring that has different stones for each child that they had. And so each stone would signify the child's birthday. So it could be a mother's ring or it could just be but an ordinary ring with a bunch of gemstones. I'm not sure which it is, but I'm hoping that it is acrostic, and I'm, I, I'm hoping that if it is, you guys can help me figure out what it says. Enjoy taking a sneak peek into my ring collection and specifically on my unique rings 
and I hope to be bringing you more of these sneak peek videos into my Bronx Bobble Box collection. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Thank you guys. Thanks all Yvonne, Lisa, Kay, Alexander. Thanks all of you guys for watching my videos and always supporting me. And if I forgot your name, I'll be sure to mention it in future videos. So without further ado, I hope that if you enjoy these types of videos, that you subscribe to my channel. It's so important for my um, YouTube channel to grow, to reach that 1,000 subscribers. And so with that, con tanto, tanto amor. Ciao. Be sure to let me know which was your favorite unique ring in my Bronx Bobble Box collection.